Domestic violence is an issue that has been receiving considerable attention in Armenia over the past year, since the death of Zaruhi Petrosyan at the hands of her husband and mother-in-law. Currently in Armenia, there is no standalone legislation on domestic violence, and it's still stigmatized to talk about domestic violence. The only real support offered to victims comes from NGOs, which often have limited funding and resources. And it's difficult to gauge the prevalence of domestic violence because most cases go unreported. So do attitudes have to change in order for legislation and victim support to improve? Or do legislation and victim support have to improve in order for attitudes to change? According to this law, uh, we will have definition. Mm -hmm. What is domestic violence? Who is a victim of domestic violence? A lot of time when we talk about domestic violence, uh, people have different definitions for that. And sometimes uh, they only talk about the physical violence, which is more visible uh, to, uh, to the community. But uh, they talk less about the psychological violence, which is even stronger and uh, more present in the Armenian society. Society. And the second point, according to this law, government has a number of obligations. What the government has to do uh, in the case of domestic violence, they mm -hmm. have to open crisis centers, they have to open shelters, they have to train police, they have to train judges, psychologists, lawyers on domestic violence issue. And so do you think that perhaps the fact that the law comes with that financial obligation, do you think maybe that might be what is holding the government back from, from uh, accepting the legislation? I understand the government doesn't have, the state doesn't have money to open shelters, crisis centers. Mm -hmm. We will find this money. But we just, uh, just need to have law and based on the law we can operate sure. more free. And we are waiting for the decision for a long time. Men can think, uh, or այն կոնվենցիան, որին պատրաստում եմ միանալ Հայաստանը, այսինքն են գործ ընթացը սկսվել է ես դա գիտեք բավական երկար գործ ընթացը, մեր նոր ընդունելի կորենքը որպեսի չհակասի եւ համահունչ լինի կոնվենցիայի դրույթներին։ What do you think is more important? Do attitudes need to change for legislation to change or does legislation need to change for attitudes to change? Um, both are is very important. It depends on each other, of course, and uh, um, but I think the, um, the more important the legislation will be adapted, law will be adapted, mm -hmm. and it will uh, it will uh, support uh, support changing of the mentality of the society because they don't know what is domestic violence. They usually say this is her fault. This is something I've heard in so many cases, um, including Zarohi's case. People, sometimes their first reaction, both men and women, is, I wonder what she did to deserve this. We are working on the awareness part. We are preparing society and community uh, to accept the fact that domestic violence is not acceptable, but legislation is not following for now. There is a lot of violence in the Armenian society when people talk to each other, when you go in, in schools, uh, how they relate to each other. and. Uh, I'm not saying there are not there's not violence in other countries, but in Armenia specifically, we don't address that. We don't we don't teach young kids how to talk to each other, how to behave less violently. It's undeniable that legislation and attitudes are interlinked, but perhaps in order to properly address domestic violence in Armenia, we need to take a step back and look at violence in society as a whole.